What's up, friends, foe subbies? I had to come with a screen record because I legitimately <laughs> could not take watching Brianna live. She's actually still live right now, playing victim, crying, um, playing audios of the truth in her, going back and forth. These audios definitely make them both look bad and definitely give me narc abuse relationship, but on both ends. I'm being honest. I'm being honest based off of the audio receipts. Okay. If anybody has ever experienced, you know, abuse in whatever form, mental, whatever, you will probably get PTSD from listening to the audio. I pride myself on being honest. I do. So being that I didn't hear the entire live because she's still live right now playing victim. I'm going to wait till later on tonight. But I'm going to play part of this. And I'm just going to throw in my thoughts and opinions as it goes. And I'll explain to you why I feel the way that I feel. If anybody has an issue with it, feel free to come to my live later. Speak on how you feel and why you think I'm wrong. I want to know your honest thoughts under these comments, under this video. So leave some comments. Let me know who do you think is toxic? Do you think they both are toxic? Are you over this? Because I'm almost like, I kid you not. I'm almost out the door. Like, this is too draining. This is not my relationship. Shit, I'm single. I'm not dealing with this type of shit no more. So I don't even know why I inserted myself in it. Besides the fact of me wanting to basically point out what a narcissist looks like and what a manipulator looks like. I can't stand people that lie on domestic violence. Um, I can't stand that at all because I've lost many people through DV. Many. And to see somebody play around with it pisses me off and i'm pretty sure it triggers a lot of you guys too but hey let's get into this and i guess we'll go live and break the shit down later with lupak I'm getting is she's playing with victims in her chat that are actually speaking about what they're going through and she's just like get out get out with the freaking dry ass tears I can't stand your platform for what because you sure enough haven't helped not one nan one dv survivor you have not helped anyone all you've done is come on social media brag about your big stepper travel have fun you stopped helping people you lied five months ago you said that you were going to help out dv victims you started this huge thing to with your management team to help people get back on their feet from dv and especially single mothers man girl i cannot 
You're not using your platform for anything other than to make money so that you could spend on Janelle. What caused her to come out with this live? What triggered this? Because the same person that says that she's not part of any of these groups is the one that's releasing all these audios to these groups. The first audio was a seven minute clip of her and Latruth going at it. Then she released something else to say that he dragged her. I didn't hear that one. I did I saw it yesterday. I didn't I didn't even bother to listen to it. But I checked out Joff, Joffy's live and he was playing part of it. Excuse my voice. And it sounded like she was laughing when she was arguing with the truth. That part really confuses me. For somebody that is scared, for somebody that is confronting her abuser, why is it a joke? Oh, what are you guys going to say? Oh, it was a nervous laugh. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what you guys are going to say. You will survive without them. And you will be okay. But you got to do the steps first. You got to do the steps. If you don't do nothing else. Praying. Meditation. And narc abuse courses is important. Ashley, you just got on in December, yes. Do the narc abuse courses. Please do the narc abuse courses. Please do the narc abuse courses. Please. I'm begging y'all if you don't do nothing else. And if, if you don't have the money, DM me. I will gladly pay for y'all to take y'all narc abuse courses. If you She's lying. Do you know how many women I've seen comment under her post talking about they're trying to escape their abusive relationship or they're a survivor and they need help and she completely bypasses them? There was even a young lady that messaged me and showed me a long message that she sent Brianna that she was going through a DV experience herself and she had nowhere to house her self and her child Brianna opened that message and never responded but the next day she goes on YouTube to address or to announce that she has this huge thing that's coming out that she's been working on to help DV survivors to have shelter and to support them that was five months ago have you ever heard about it since no because she's playing with y'all She's using this DV thing to gain followers. She's using the DV thing to gain payola. Okay, sympathy. And it sickens me. Because there are real victims out there. That are literally, literally fighting for their lives. But you know what? You have this one playing with yours. But anyhow, she's over here talking about, oh, you need to be to yourself. While she's housing a whole fucking loser in a crib that mistreats her children. I have the money. I will pay for your classes. I will pay for your classes. DM me on Instagram. I really want to help y'all heal and move on and to get out. Whatever that means. She's lying. I got out when I tell y'all peace 
peace is everything. Peace is everything. Peace is everything. I ain't never had so much peace in my life. I can sit in my house and just have peace. I can watch my kids play and let them be kids. <laughs> Lupac was not playing. She messaged me. And she said, isn't it funny that this is happening right before the release of her show? And Lupac has such a great point. Such a great point. All of a sudden, you decide to come out with these receipts right before the 11th. What is today? Today, I think, might be the 3rd or the 4th. Right before your premiere. Oh my gosh. Mm. And I have to worry about somebody saying my kids too loud. They get on their nerves. They get to go in their own rooms and sit in rooms like prisoners. Reminds me of that night where you were live playing games with your girls in the room, listening to music, and John L's in the live on his live while your kids are just running around the house and being told to go to their rooms. The same way you claim that Robert did your kids, it seems as if Janelle was doing your kids right there on live. Reprimanding your children on live. You have your whole baby girl walking around on Janelle's live with no shirt on and a diaper. <laughs> Some nerve. I cannot believe she just said that. She literally just said, you need to be by yourself. Says the spokesperson that is now dating her bestie, kissing her bestie on live in front of her two daughters. Okay. This woman, you're taking advice from her and excuse my voice. And if this video cuts off, it's because I do not have enough memory on my phone. But trust and believe you me, this will be a reason for me to go live later. I have to break this shit down. And I know I am not an expert. I know that. But I could see through bullshit. She's sitting here talking about she's been through it and now she can see through red flags, but you can't see through Janelle, big dummy. Nobody tries to tear you down over here. We just call you out. The most unprotected is a female. And for us to run to these men is if they are here. We need each other to team up with. Men be here today, gone tomorrow. Men love you in the moment and don't love you the next moment. A man will hit 
you and then the next month say they love you look at this girl all of a sudden let me find out let me find out you giving advice but look at your life look at your life you just met this man mid-january god already got him living in your crib with your kids telling your children what to do and you're giving this advice i can't i cannot like i feel like i'm in the twilight zone right now she's talking about men come and go men this and that men don't really okay okay hearing this part i was like damn that's kind of fucked up you know he pouring gatorade on her and dragging her and whatnot so you know i think to myself i want to know from the truth now you need to respond to this accusation if people are going to continuously stick up and try to defend why are you not speaking up for yourself? I know you provided receipts and sometimes you take forever to provide your receipts, but they prove that she in indeed is the problem. She's dangerous. I totally believe that. But I'm not saying that he isn't at fault. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, why does she get away with all of this? Why are you not? putting your foot down why are you trying to protect somebody that's trying to ruin you while we the strangers are sitting here speaking up as if we really know the real deal i don't know because i don't i don't talk to the truth i don't i haven't heard his side of the story i'm just basing this off of what receipts i see right now and they don't look good We apologize. 
He was mad at me for calling Naya. So I said, I didn't call Naya. Lauren did because she was scared yesterday. I never once picked up my phone until I called my dad. I said, I'm sorry. There's nothing more I can do. I'm not what you need or want. Why am I apologizing to someone who abused me? Based off of like looking at one text message, I don't like to make a decision on to what I feel. Because I don't know what he said before, nor do I know what he said after. But what I did read was a screenshot of Naya saying that Lauren called her saying she was hiding. And that doesn't look good at all. It doesn't. So if anybody has an issue with me and thinks that I'm flip, flippity floppity, no, I'm real. If something doesn't look good, I'm going to call it out. Period. I see the screenshot where it says that Lauren called me and I could see Lauren called. Why would Lauren say she was scared if she won? I understand they could have been yelling at each other, cussing at each other. I've been that little kid hearing my parents go back and forth and that shit used to scare the shit out of me. And I would hide too. But I never knew how. And who started the argument, how, you know, serious it was or not. All I could know was that I was scared and I used to hide under the sheets because I didn't like to hear them yelling. So, again, this doesn't really prove abuse or anything like that. Yes, maybe verbal argument, but I'm pretty sure she was verbally abusing him as well. comments is really like creepy there's a lot of people are just like you're so beautiful 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 like what the fuck these people are so weird everything isn't about outward beauty she's a demon okay anyways her numbers went from like four four thousand plus to it went down like maybe two thousand i guess people are just tired of the bullshit and they could see through her, her lies. And I can't say she didn't go through what she went through. But I can tell you right now, she's a fucking liar. Excuse my language. She's a liar. So it's really hard to believe that she was the only victim. They're both victims of one another. Forgiveness something that happened to you as a kid, and if nobody. 
nobody ever said they were sorry. He was saying that he was sorry for that. And talking more of the word. But that video from me posting it led to this. The other night on my live, Jaffe came on and played that video and basically said that this might be what caused the argument in the car where the recording that was um get out the car before I pull your wig off that that argument and Jaffe was right um whoever sent that to him I guess put it together or it must have been Brianna that gave that to team Bree to put out but when she speaks on this initially I thought you know Maybe he felt the way because she promoted this pastor, but she doesn't promote her own husband. And I could understand feeling a way about that. Like, how are you going to promote another man, but not me? But I have seen her dance to his music. I have seen her promote Latrus music. So that right there is like out the window. go back and I'm listening after knowing that this for sure was because of the Pastor Todd thing listening to the truth it it, it kind of does give me PTSD <laughs> when I say that I say this because he said that what the pastor said had no substance to it when it did he's basically saying she's crying behind a nigga when she actually wasn't if you listen to the message, I think that's what made her emotional. Because I remember seeing this video six months ago when she posted it, and it made me feel sad just listening to his message. So this sounds pretty bad on the truth's part. It just does. So it brings me back to thinking how Brianna did what she did when MJ Strong had an event and the truth was supposed to be there. And how Brianna said, you ain't getting paid. This was for a child that had cancer or that has cancer. Right? Brianna had an issue talking about you ain't getting paid. That was sick and disgusting, if you ask me, right? So we're not going to compare what he's saying to what she said, because what she said was absolutely just, I, <laughs> I can't believe it even to this day that she would say that. He's trying to help out a child that could potentially lose their life and he could save it by, you know, bringing awareness with his platform and you're talking about, did you get paid? That is sick. That is demonic. 
So no, I don't sympathize for Brianna at all. Trust and believe you me, I don't. Especially when it comes down to uh, MJ Strong. Anyhow, just to give you an example of, you know, them feeling like people need to pay you for endorsement. I guess that's what he's saying now. She's endorsing a pastor and not getting paid for it. But there's definitely no comparison with what happened with MJ. I'm just putting it out there. She's speaking of insecurity when she's insecure herself. The, honestly, this couple together is just pure toxic. Pure toxic. I, I honestly, I don't even know how I have the energy to make this video right now. Excuse me, you guys. I'm literally trying to get better. So excuse my voice. That is one line that triggers the shit out of me. Everybody got a pussy. And ain't nothing special about it. I hate when men say that. I hate that shit. But that's just me. Red flag. Another red flag. When somebody says you are who you are because of me, out loud especially, like <laughs> that is a red flag. We get it though. Me on the outside, I say it because I know that Brianna wouldn't be who she is without, you know, the truth. But at the same time, if there's a higher power that put them together, so... You know, it is what it is. You believe what you want, but that is a red flag when you could tell somebody you want shit until I came along or I made you. Anybody that says that sounds controlling or they sound as if they have power or they feel that they have power over you because they created you. So, yeah, that's a red flag. I do. 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 I
fucking daddy. And then people are sitting here in the comments like, okay, sh she's talking shit. Okay, you see how many times he called me a bitch before I responded? He'll call me bitch a bunch of times. Bitch, 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 you a bitch, bitch. Any bitch that's a hustle, bitch, 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 bitch. Like, every word was a bitch. Like, and I'm supposed to sit there and not defend myself and not say nothing? Shut up, Ray Lamar. I'm gonna raise myself. Use the damn thing. She's wrong. She raised her back. You're a time, baby. I'm cool with that. I don't give a fuck. I don't even want to be no fucking daddy. So what the fuck that mean to me? That's you don't want to talk about that. Move out. You don't want to talk about that. Move out. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm not raising more. I'm raising myself. Use the damn thing. She's wrong. She raised her back. You're a real time, baby. I'm cool with that. I don't give a fuck. I don't even want to be no fucking daddy. So what the fuck that mean to me? That's not what I'm talking about. Move out. You don't even want to be no daddy. Yeah, that 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 really does sound bad because the context I heard it in before, it wasn't like that uh, because the video or the audio wasn't played in full. This is when Ayana was playing it. Ayana cut it off at that part. And it made sense because she actually trapped him. She stopped taking birth control and had a mora. She knew the truth did not want any more kids. Okay? Because he had already been in a situation where he had his first daughter unknowingly with Sierra, who did the same exact thing. So, yeah, I get it. He didn't want to be a daddy. But to be a daddy and say, I don't want to be a daddy, sounds really bad. That's just my personal opinion. Um... She keeps replaying that part because she wants you guys to sympathize for her. That's the vibe that I get. Um, But I will say this. I could definitely hear that he says that Lauren is who is raising Amora. And that speaks volumes because a lot of us see it too from the outside. When you're with Janelle, you're constantly calling Lauren and telling Lauren to come get Amora. There was a night where you were with your girlfriends and you wanted the kids to go to bed and you told Lauren to come get Amora. Every time it's go get this for Amora, go do this for Amora. We hear it on the lives. So yes, I, I do agree when he called her out that he was calling her out because it's true. But the things that she's saying, I think are true too. So, you guys be the judge if you like. What are your thoughts? Share them down below. If you feel like I'm flip-flopping, that means that this channel isn't for you. Because what I'm about is about the truth. I'm about being real at all times. Nobody's going to sway my opinion. Nobody. They both seem toxic to me. But she's the one that seems dangerous. That's the only difference. She's dangerous. I don't even want to be no daddy. And this is from the beginning to the end. Beginning to the end. Beginning to the end. When people say, oh, what happened in the beginning? That's the beginning. I showed y'all the video of me crying over past the tide message about forgiving whatever happened to you when you was younger and it went from that to this you don't want to move out move out nigga you still here having kids and still fucking dead get the fuck out please tell me where the pussy is having kids you a dead get out well 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 i guess that's the end of my video um didn't expect it to be this long but hey it is what it is y'all this was extremely draining and I'm only <laughs> I was only 18 minutes into screen recording so imagine how drained I feel um I did see that she addressed LaToya because LaToya was in her chat or because LaToya um came into the live she probably got an alert maybe because LaToya has like a check mark, I don't know. But she addressed Latoya. She tells Latoya she does not have an issue with her and that the issue stemmed with the truth. 
I don't know what else happened after because I clicked off, I tuned out. But um, I guess we'll commence later on tonight if I have the energy. But yeah, y'all, just waiting for your thoughts and opinions on this.